how you doing? Uh, I decided to make a little video to show everyone my new release for Summerfest. Uh, it includes the Sadie Hammock and the Pixie Arch here. Uh, they do come separately. Uh, the arch can be used on its own, so you can use it on its own over a walkway. Um, I thought it would be nice for weddings. Um, and then the hammock can be used either with the arch or with any tree you have. So I wanted to show you how to adjust the arch to fit different beams that you might want to attach it to. So I'm going to res out a copy here of the hammock. Okay, so this is how it comes. It's not attached to anything, you can put it wherever you like. So it's currently sized, so if you do uh, buy the pixie arch as well, uh, you just adjust it into place and it will fit perfectly on there. Uh, but you can easily put it on any other trees. So I have here two really pretty um, half tea palm trees. Um, they also come in pastel as well, so you might want to go and check those out. So I'm just going to move the hammock into place so we can adjust it. So you want to get it roughly in the middle of your two objects you want to affix it to. So I'm going to put it here so we can see like it's kind of overshooting them and it's like the, it's not big enough for the, the beams that it's attaching to. So I'll just lift this up a bit. Alright, so what we need to do is you go edit linked on your edit window, select this one first off, and then I, if you hold down control shift, you'll see there's a little adjustment points here. So we're just going to adjust this so it's sitting just to the edge of the tree, not, not going into it, just to the edge of it. I'll do the same to the other side. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to grab the little rope that goes around the tree, which is currently getting buried in. So we're just going to again, control shift to bring up the edit points. And we're just going to drag that so it's going to fit better on the tree. There we go. Stretch it up a little bit. Right. Oh, needs to come out a bit more on this side. Can also spin it around a bit. There we go. I might just bring these in a little bit more. Adjust that in. So it's tucking under. Alrighty, so that one's in place. Might be able to move it over a little bit. I'm gonna rotate this this way put it down to hide where that bit's tucking in under there. Okay, so that one's in place and then we'll come over this side and do the same thing. My amazing camming skills this is terrible. <laughs> Alrighty. It's almost done. Okay, that's in place there. There we go. And you can go out of edit mode and you're ready to go. So I'll just quickly pop through and show you there's some different texture options for the Sadie Hammock. So this one is the lilac option. There's also the peach, which is a uh, pretty, pretty floral with peach accents. Uh, the pink is a nice striped pink one. Got the fuchsia, which is a bit brighter. A nice little bright boho print for the summer. I got a nice simple classy uh, nautical print <laughs> um, with cream and a light navy. And then we've got like a darker boho option here as well. So that's all of them. I'm I'm quite partial to the lilac. <laughs> Alright, and also the pixie beam over here has some options as well, so you can touch here. I won't go through all of them, uh, but the beam can come in black, white, uh, light wood, which you see here, and like dark wood, so we click it, we can change that one. Um, the leaves also have options, um, anywhere from uh, light green um, through all the way through to autumn, so it'll be perfect for autumn as well. Uh, the flowers have a number of different options. You can even turn the flowers off. So if you're going for the autumn, you know, normally there might not be flowers. So you can turn those off. 
but there are different like flower color options as well that you can choose from. Cool. So um, that is about it. Alrighty, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.